That's what I'm talking about. That livery is pretty cool. It doesn't have the white outlines, but that's one of the top ones on here. And a cool purple one there. It's pretty cool. But we're going to go with a stock one so far today. Uh, I'm going to actually change the color up a little bit because I always go with a certain color. So let's go with a... Let's go with a special color, actually. Go with a nice bright green. I don't know. I don't know what color do we go with on a bimmer. That's I don't want to have the same color as I always do. Good question. Blue. No, I always have fucking blue. How about a purple? Let's go with a purple. I know I've chosen possibly the absolute worst color you've seen for this in your freaking life. I accept that. But what we're going to be doing is, as I said, I want to put on the body mods. And we'll put one like a visual design afterwards, maybe a community design. Because I'm liking the community design thing at the moment we've got going on. So anyway, go to the Forza Vista. And then we're going to start doing the thing. Because I, as much as I like that front bumper, I want to throw on the GTR body kit. Because again, this would look so much more awesome in my opinion with it. And I hope, I don't think there was any rear bumper options. I, if, there was, if there was, it was like one, which was pretty shit, I remember. But uh, that's not a problem. At least we'll get to try it a little bit. I just at least want to try it a tiny bit. Uh, and I might end up putting the most wanted body kit back onto it. Because I think it looked pretty awesome. So back out. Press abandon. And I almost did it wrong straight away. Go on to here. There we go. Front bumper. So we got the GTR front bumper that doesn't really fit properly. You can see on the fenders. It looks a little bit weird. Just, just ignore that. That looks even worse. Thankfully that doesn't look too shabby actually. So look at that. Oh yes. That is awesome. I'm installing that bad boy. Again, I'm not too sure if there are any rear bumper options, but we're going to go into here. We've got the wing option because we need to actually go onto the fucking body kit and do the fucking thing. Uh, we don't have side skirt options yet. Because again, we need to do the fucking thing. I pressed the wrong thing. Stock. Revert. Abandon. Okay. Have we got any side skirt options for Sibima? No, we don't. Which is, all I mean, it's all right. I wasn't hoping there would be some. We got rear bumper options. We got one rear bumper option, which does that. That I actually really like. It suits it rather well. So I'm going to install that. And again, I'm going to then back away. And I've probably already explained it like a million times already, but this is, this and the E92 are my favorite styles of BMW. This, I would love to have both. I, that's like, that was, that would be a dream to have absolutely fucking, just both, just sat there beautifully. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm not too sure what wing I'm going to go with. I kind of want the Rocket Bunny one, I think. That's possibly the best option. But at the same time, that wing, I actually, I like the wing, okay? And, you know, we're going to go with the wing. We're going to go with the wing. I think that's literally all the mods we can do on the BMW. Because, again, there isn't much we can do on this BMW. They've removed a hell of a lot of mods on this car. Because they had the full GTR kit in the previous game. I wish they had the rear bumper for the GTR. Maybe, like, some side skirt options for this or something. But I'm hoping in the future Forza games they do add more, like, options. Because I remember there were hood options as well for this car on, on the last Forza game. So it's a bit weird that they've removed them almost. But, yeah, if we... Maybe it's a thing to do with Need for Speed, actually. Because Need for Speed seems really, really close with BMW. I don't know. I can't say it because I have no clue. But, I mean, that's how it works in, like, Porsche, for example. Like, they have, a like, a set license to do stuff like that. But, and yes, I said Porsche for the first time in my life. Can you believe it? I'm, I feel all grown up now. Anyway, go into the, the, the normal upgrade menu. And we're going to plonk on some awesome stuff. Now... Uh, we do have, again, the, the normal engine in here. I could very much go with an upgraded V8. It's a little bit more beefy, if you will. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to end up doing. And, actually, twin turbo it as well. I am begging to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I, I'm not religious. Um, <laughs> I, I'm begging that they, they don't actually fix this or patch it in any way because i'm really really liking this i think what we're going to do for this one is we haven't done it for the past one so we'll just literally max this thing out and make an absolute fucking monster for the reason that again we haven't done it for the past ones so we may as well raise up dude <laughs> that actually looks really cool i'm thinking this actually looks more like the m3 gtr kit than the actual m3 gtr kit on this game because all there is is just a bloody bumper which is a shame I keep moaning about it but it's, 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 it's very it's very concerning to my heart in the fact that it's been removed. I'm hoping that they do actually add it back at some point. They probably won't, but at least in the next game, I'm hoping. Here's the fun part again. We're going to go through. Let's have a look. You know what? Let's have a look, see what this livery looks like. I want to see how this wrap looks on my car because it's, it's, it's not as good as the one I actually have on my other car, but I want to see how it turns out having the M3 GTR design on that car. This is not the best one I've seen, but I just kind of wanted to throw this one on that first one I saw just to actually see what this would look like having the wide body kit on there as well. 
well. So awesome. Because it kind of was a wide body, like, on itself. It was definitely a wide body. It's very different to this. This was, like, an updated modern style. But I think this this actually suits better than the, the the one we built before. So after the video, I'm not I'm not gonna go with that design. But after the video, I think I'm actually gonna put on the M3 GTR kit. Onto, look at that! that looks fucking menacing. Holy damn, that is awesome. But yeah, there's a lot of options to go with with this. Like we could go with oh, that is so clean. I think that's my winner so far. Uh, someone's made a kin Kinder what's it called Kinder fucking Bueno or whatever it is. That person now that made it white. Anyone that's downloaded that, you should deserve to be fucking shot. Now, that one looks pretty cool. It looks very different, but that's probably the best one on the front of the page there. The very most accurate one. But I think uh, of the top ones on here, I'm actually really tempted to go with that. I love the little gold accents everywhere. I want to see how it turns out on my body kit, though, because, again, I'm guessing this is a made for the... I think it was the Rocket Bunny kit that I saw on there. A decided rodent, Bimmer. Yes, mate. That's what we're doing. So, yeah, it definitely doesn't really suit this, this kit. It was made for the Rocket Bunny thing. But, again, once make this glitch actually a little bit bigger, I think a lot of people have actually made designs for it. And, obviously, you guys can share them to me on Twitter and stuff. But you can see what I was talking about with the bumper there. Doesn't necessarily fit on the side. You can see it's very, like, got much overhang at the top because the front bumper is not, like, long enough. But... If they could actually make it a little bit longer, this would actually fit really well. See, they, they could have very definitely, very easily added this as like an actual option to be able to put these parts on. Because they fit so well on so many cars. Maybe it was a plan or maybe they just have enough time and maybe they get approval, that kind of thing. But there's a lot of complications that can actually be a, a thing. But you can actually can say, oh shit, is that actually like... That's, only, that's pretty much scratching on the fucking wheel there, but it's four, so it doesn't matter. It's not a problem, but I really like this design. It's very different, and again, I love this booty. You can see there again, the, the body is slightly off, but it's not too bad, actually. Like, it's not too bad at all. Now, I'm not one to be like, oh, let's have a listen to this car, because the Forza sounds I'm not, yeah, I'm not a massive fan of. So, let's have a listen to this, though. This is a little bit different. <laughs> what the... What was that? Oh my god! This is beautiful. I'm gonna drive it now. Let's go! Listen to it. This is an absolutely monstrous sounding car. We haven't been on the beach for a while, so let's go down beach. Oh, to Cleethorpe's Beach. Nothing looking like Cleethorpe's Beach. Cleethorpe's Beach is brown, you bastard. Sorry. Yeah, Theo, that's a brilliant idea, actually. Just take your brand new, spanking brand new, clean car and take it onto some sand. And absolutely destroy the fact that it is actually very clean. Please break. I was hoping it would break. If it didn't break, I was going to cry. But I'm really liking this. This kit just sets off really well. This bumper and, like, these bumper and kit options look amazing. I, I, I wouldn't normally... Like, with Need for Speed, a lot of them don't really suit very well. Oh! I fucking scraped the roof there. It's the definition of scraping in real life, isn't it? Move it, man! Things to crash into, obviously. Look how dirty my hood is. Who's going to clean that for me now? Fucking knobs. All right, so what we're going to do is flippy wibby around that other bimmer. <laughs> now I feel like a true BMW driver. But I feel like I should change my name to, like, fucking BMW driver on YouTube. Just be a knob to everyone. That's what I do anyway. So BMW driver. Perfect. 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 How to write off the chance of getting any kind of deal with BMW in the future. <laughs> Nobody link this to BMW if I get the chance to test drive one of their cars or something in the future. <laughs> the combination of this front bumper and those wide flares definitely set it off more than the default one. And it's not too bad to handle, honestly. Normally V8 cars, when you fully upgrade them, or like high-end cars in general, when you fully upgrade them, rear-wheel drive, they become absolutely impossible to drive. This, on the other hand, does not have any init any issues so far. It like it slides a little bit, slips a little. I mean, it's gonna happen. But I reckon that I could easily just let off and recontrol it. It's probably a combination of the fact that this thing has awesome aero parts in general. As long, a long. Look at that grip. You ever seen grip like that in an S2 car before? Alright, that's understood. That's understood. For fuck's sake. Come on, me ass. It's also probably having that Forza wing. Again, we do get the wheel spin of normal S2, but if it, like, let off and actually did it properly, probably would have launched a bit better than that. But definitely that wing is helping, which is good, because normally I put the wing on and people are like, no, what are you doing? And now I can be like, ha! The wing is doing something, because my actual last build of this car, the M3 GTR uh, video that I made on this car, well, it wasn't so great at being grippy, and I had the... No, I did have the big wing. Shit, what am I talking about? And now I don't know what caused it then, honestly. It's probably the glitch. 
on their advantage. Fart for me! I have a farting fetish apparently now because of Forza. There you go. That's a good girl. Very, very good, very good. There's a slap train in his <laughs> stock fucking S14. He's, he's just, he's chuffed that it's out, isn't he? He's just out, he's, he's over the moon. <laughs> Be sure to let me know, guys, what you think of this design. I'd love to hear, like, I think it looks pretty clean and awesome. You can see, like, the very basicness of... The very basicness of it looks really awesome. I might as well get this, this bloody board here because I'm just hitting... What are you doing? I'm your friend. Look at that water. It looks like Cleethorpe's Beach. <laughs> I'm just going to keep fluttering the turbo. I'm going to do this all day. Oh, I stopped now. It's fine. It's not as, not as loud as when I was going uphill. Anyway, yeah, let me know what you think of this body kit and this design and everything. I would absolutely love to hear it. But what I'm going to do is switch to the M3 GTR design and uh, then see what that looks like because it just needs to be done. There it is by Mr. S. No tracks is... Let's load that design. See what this bad boy looks like. Uh, uh, come on, man, man, buddy. Let's see. Oh, yes. Oh, ho, ho. this is going to be my favorite car for a long time now. Let's go, my buddies. Let's rip it. Yes. Ah. Just go for it. Just go for it. This monstrous sounding fucking V8. Need for speed style. We got the wide flares. It's just so much better than the original one I made. I should have walked in weird. I don't know this glitch was going to be a thing though, honestly. It fits the body panels really well still. I'm very happy with that. But as I said, that's pretty, pretty much all I want to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to let me know down in the comments what build you want me to do with the glitch next if it's not been patched by the time I release this video. I did them all on like, the same night because I really wanted to make sure they didn't get patched. And also... I've got, uh, I'm going to be, uh, like, doing a lot of stuff next week. So, yeah, yeah, I won't be around as much. Anyway, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.